Hi everyone. Hi. <laughs> this is Tammy. Hi. And we're having a slumber party. Yes, we are. So we're in our PJs and all that, and I'm going to review. And it's like 1:30 in the morning. <laughs> Cause that's how we roll. Cause we can't sleep. I know. So I'm going to be re reviewing some ha Haku Hoda brushes. Um, you probably haven't heard of the brand, but if you have, then um, that's that's cool too. <laughs> They're nice brushes. They're okay. amazing brushes. Mm -hmm. Basically, Haku Hodo have like series, kind of like Crown Brush does. Um, Sigma has different series, like vegan, um, squirrel hair, synthetic hair. They have like different series. So some of the series are pretty cheap, like MAC prices. Some are um, even like Crown Brush prices. But a majority of them are a little bit higher end. So. Um, just note that but if you do want to look at the site they do have cheaper brushes that are also amazing so these are the ones I have to share with you I have two face brushes and two eye brushes Tamri has really kind of not used but played around with them both and Tam has been using makeup longer than I have but um, I'm going to give you my thoughts on them and if you want you can do a quick one through on what you like so the first of all this is how you spell Haku Hodo I don't know if that's gonna focus because we're using Tammy's little HD camera, a little. It's like a webcam, but it's HD, so I don't know how that's gonna. I have so, so this one is. First of all, I just want to say these are these brushes. I have nothing like these brushes at all, which I really like. But the first one is the most softest brush I've ever felt. It's domed. It's domed. Um, I don't know what type of hair this is. I believe it's squirrel. This is squirrel hair. And I love this for highlighting. Just right here because it's perfect size. Um, I like it for contouring, but I feel like it's too soft to kind of do that. But I also set, it, um, set my concealer with it. Because it's so, 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 so soft that I feel like it can't hold product enough to be using it for bronzer but you could really use this for anything blush bronzer highlighting, uh, highlighting mm -hmm. like i said it's really 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 soft like really really soft but that can be a pro and that can be a con so yeah i like that brush though overall you want to say something about it this one i think i i i kind of think this would be a good one to do bronzer Contour. Contouring. Contouring? Yeah, you know. Yeah. And it is really soft. Very soft. It's probably one of the softest brushes I've ever found. But also, yeah. they don't have names on them, so I can't tell you. But what this is what it is, looks yeah. like. <laughs> and then the next one looks like this. They have. Me I found out about this brush from Goss Makeup. Um, or Goss Makeup Artist. Is it? I don't remember his channel. But um, it looks. The top looks like this. And it is dirty because I do use this. But. <laughs> Basically, it's a little bit dual fibered because, not dual fibered, but there. if you look really closely, there's some bristles, oh like yeah. see right there? Mm -hmm. There's some bristles mm -hmm. longer than the mm -hmm. other, which I like. Um, I use this for foundation, but I'm finding that because it is natural bristles, it's not really the best for foundation. So I'm probably going to start using it for maybe cream blush or um, maybe just finding something different than it but it does work for foundation but I just haven't been liking it as much for foundation so I'm gonna have to find something different to use it as but they this one is it a foundation brush but a brush can be used as anything well, well. That's true. but I think it is marketed as a foundation, foundation brush um but this one in particular comes in like many 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 sizes comes in like that size like concealer then it goes like that then it goes like that then it goes like that and it like I think it all the way goes like that like it mm -hmm. comes in many many sizes but this is the size I have it's kind of like the size of my nose I yeah. guess maybe bigger <laughs> say something about it I don't know if I I don't know if I would use a brush like this ever but it is definitely a soft brush right mm. I've used it I've used it pretty regularly, and also I've Maybe had these like brushes, you know. like blending out contour. Mm -hmm. I've yeah. used these brushes for about a couple months now, and I normally don't do that because these were sent to me for a review, 
but normally when a company sends you something they want you to do it within a period of time and when they say that to me I'm, I normally either will turn them down or explain to them that I won't do that and I want a lot of time but also I've, I've been in the hospital. time to use them too. Right. Yeah. Right. That's why. Yeah. I, that's why I haven't done a review mm -hmm. in so long, and that's why I've had them for so long. So I've washed these many times. I've done like everything there is to know about them. And shedding, I haven't had any problems with shedding except this one, maybe a little bit when I first got it, but now it doesn't shed at all. But I'll get it, to that. I will say it's a um, very solid brush. Yeah. Like it's very it's well, well made. It's, it's built well. Yeah. Very very solid built. Very like well. not cheap at it. all. You yes. Can feel it. Yeah. Yeah. Both of them are like that. You can tell. All of them even like a little that. on the heavy side. Side, yeah. Definitely not. Tell me if you like doing videos with Tammy. Tammy also is a cancer survivor, which you guys probably know that from videos. But she made a video recently, and she hasn't uploaded it yet. <laughs> but when she does, I will probably put it in the description. Cause yeah. you should you should check out her channel when she makes it. She hasn't even made one yet. And I said she should totally make one. I'm trying. You should. Cause you're so amazing at makeup and then like she has all these like tips. When she like I'm gonna tell you one real quick. She puts her brow powder or like not brow powder, but brow pencil or even like brown eyeliner and she puts it on a brow like fully but like the ones that are like straighter you know she puts it on that and then she puts it through her brows and I'm whoa <laughs> that's kind of cool so yeah um I think I thought she should do something like that um okay now for the eye brushes I honestly when I first got these I had no idea how to use either of them I was like how do I use this how do I use this? So, so, by the way, these, the ones with the red brushes are very, uh, the red, um, the ferrules, yeah. are these called ferrules? ferrules no, these are the ferrule. And then this is, I guess, the handle. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is our term for today. But this one is Beverly Hills S125 brush. And it's a pretty brush. Right. And it has this cute little logo right here. Okay. Got to show you this because it has a story behind it, apparently. Focus? Ah, there you go. So, apparently, the the person who started this whole Hakuhoto thing, his this was a symbol for his wife. Aww. And um, they made it into a brush. It's a pretty brush. Yes. So these are the ones that are probably the most expensive. And it's really pretty and it looks really luxurious. Like this is like something the Queen of England would use. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Watch her be like watching this video and be like, Hi, Talia, I totally use that. <laughs> well, but it's basically this pointed brush. And I like to use this for highlighting my brow bone because it's like just the perfect size. I also love using this in my crease. Um, and I love taking the tip and putting it underneath my lower lash line. So Tammy likes this brush. Yes, very much. This definitely is a brush that I would use. Uh, there again, it's so soft. Yeah, it's like... But firm enough that it would... Yeah, it's a really, really nice brush. And tell them why you like that. Because of your eye shape. Yes, because it's got kind of that little tip. It like fits tip. right yeah, in and her it fits eye socket. right in your crease right there perfectly. This is really a nice. Now you brush. have not like not like it's a bad thing, but you have very deep set eyes. Deep eyes. So it's Yeah, nice I really like this her. brush. Yeah. If I could afford it I would buy it. <laughs> <laughs> but I I don't find those brushes helpful in my crease for me, just because I totally rather just take um, a fluffy brush for that. But I like that for brow bone and taking the tip underneath my lashes. And I like it. Just for crease work. Just to do it right in the crease. And it's perfect for that. Perfect. The next one is, it kind of looks like a concealer brush, but when I first got this, I was like, how do I use that? Like, <laughs> it's so flimsy that it really has, like, no point. Like, it's so soft to the point where you're just like, I can't use this. 
but I love it for just kind of layer a little bit of color on my lid. If I want like a very subtle sheer wash of white, I'll just go ch -ch -ch all the way. Or I love hiding my cubic spot for it and like um, applying nose contour. And I also like using it for my brow bone highlight because I love finding different products to highlight my brow. Because normally, if I'm just like on the go, I'll do like a really crazy wing liner, brow bone highlight, my brows, and then the rest of my face. But like that's mostly my eyes. But I really love this brush for it. Um, minimal shedding. It's really, 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 really super soft. Um, I think I would probably <laughs> use it as a concealer brush. But it's so flimsy, I feel like it wouldn't... Hold the product? Maybe. No, it would hold the product, but I feel like it wouldn't blend it well enough. Hmm, huh, maybe. But it just looks too... But I, I, I tried using it with c concealer before because... Oh, you did? I've been trying using these brushes for, like, everything because I've had them for so long. And I've been looking for different ways to use them. Um, but that one just didn't... It... It's okay for placement... Like for a cream concealer, no, but like maybe for like a liquid, liquidy concealer for placement, right. but then you would have to take a brush like this and kind of blend the edges out. You mean not like it the, wouldn't do yeah, the blending Not for like you. the little pot ones that... Right, like the Mac Studio your face, yeah. but like the Pro Longwear, do you know how it's like... Mm -hmm. That one would kind of work. So, so that's what I think I would use it for. Yeah. But it's a nice brush too, very soft. So right. they're all really nice brushes. I can see why they're kind of a pricey brush. Right. Because they're built really nice. And the effort they put mm -hmm. into them. I'll, I'll show you the video after this. I'll show you the video after this video. But the effort they put into them, they actually have a video of them making of it and the background behind it. And it's just a really cool and like almost inspiring video. Nice brush. Very yeah. nice brush. All of them are really nice. So like I basically can't say anything bad right about, about them. They, which doesn't really happen because Holly likes to be very critical. I do. I do, I do. So there you go. That was our review. That is our four brush review. Review. Bye. Bye.